Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. My window is right here, so that's why you see this. But what you can see, you get two cameras again. One you can see my face and one you can see this sketchbook. Now what I wanted to talk about today is I most I just recently moved houses. And as I was moving houses, I found all these boxes. And these boxes were storage and I realized that they were more sketchbooks. Like, I kind of remember on my old vloggity vlog channel that I was keeping up with last year that there were all these sketchbooks that I was showing to you guys. But this sketchbook, I never showed off. So I think this sketchbook, I never showed off, but I knew exactly where I was at this era in my life, and it was a hard era. So the thing that I learned about this sketchbook was that art, was my therapy and it still is my therapy and I think that's what I learned about myself during this move just by going through all my notebooks and all my sketchbooks. If I didn't like a point in my life that was going on, I would change it around in my mind and I would draw it out. So I think that's how I deal with a lot of things. You know how, how you see those t-shirts that say, hey, be careful with a writer because they might um, because if you turn your back on a writer or something, they might turn around and kill you off in one of their stories. Well, that's how I felt with art. If I didn't like how something was going, then I totally turned it around my art. If a lot of you have known me, then you knew that I went through a really hard period where I went to my dream college and then a very mean professor, I won't mention names, um, she told me that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I was blacklisted by her. I will never know why to this day exactly why she blacklisted me. This is Ivy. Whenever you see Ivy, that's me. That is me. That is how I draw myself. I, I have always been able to create original characters really well by making myself something I wanted to be. Ivy is a pixie, so I turned myself into a pixie and the way that I managed my like really dark time, depressed time, that I was depressed, okay? I, I gained 30 pounds <laughs> because I didn't care. So I'll never know what was going on, but I know who this is. This is Prince Kyland and Ivy. Prince Kyland and Ivy are obviously love interests, their boyfriend, girlfriend, but the story I developed for them is it takes a while for them to finally get together. But Prince Kyland is based off of somebody. I will not mention his name because Lord knows he'll, you know, he'll find out. But as you can see right here, this is how I started to doodle out my actual feelings. There's Ivy, and there's a guy I obviously don't like, and there is a dragon getting ready to swallow him whole. <laughs> Keep on going, and here is the first original sketch of Kyland and Ivy. Me saying, hey, these are my main characters, obviously I'm Ivy, and Kyland, he is going to remain nameless, but yes. <sighs> So as you can see, here's Prince Kylan trying to hide me from somebody I don't like. This is just, it's funny, I know who this is. I will not mention names once again. And here we go again, Prince Kylan is trying to take Ivy away from this guy who is actually a character based off of my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> so everyone's trying to keep me away from this ex-boyfriend as you can see he's a knight in shining armor i know what's going on here so here's ivy and that prince a knight in shining armor so i you see i'm just doodling and at the time i was only doodling for myself i didn't post any of these drawings on instagram instagram was barely a thing at the time and i was posting more pictures of my dogs than my art because and here's Ivy and Prince Kyland again. Keep going. Oh, and here is that knight in shining armor and Ivy. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on here. I still don't know what's going on here. That was a Jesus tattoo design. That's awesome. Uh, Prince Kyland and Ivy again. Comes another another one of my. He wasn't a boyfriend, but he wasn't. He was an ex. <laughs> 
this love interest of mine and he was a magician he did card tricks and everything and as you can see ivy and a goat and a wolf are all like checking out and it's actually funny because both of these characters are based off of my real friends in real life so it's really interesting because I incorporated their all my other original characters came from people who are based off of real people that I interact with so if you know me personally and you're my friend in real life chances are there is a cartoon character based off of you so I'm gonna cover it up just a little bit um this was really hard because the year 2012, I my my cousin Dylan passed away, and as you can see right here, his number's right there, and I made him into a creature. I made him actually into another pixie, and he actually he passed away in 2012 from a motocross accident. Again, this was a way for me to cope with my feelings. I had never lost anybody this close to me in my life, but he lived with me for two years in the same house as me. And it's just, it was a way to cope with his death. And it's just really hard. And once again, these were all for me. Once again, another bully situation that I got myself into. Obviously, I'm Alice in this story, and here is the Red Queen. <laughs> this was funny because this was actually something I got in a lot of trouble for, and so the lady who got me in trouble for it, I drew her out as this ugly looking old hag. As you can see, she is just scary. So here we are again, my ex-boyfriend as a knight in shining armor, and this is how I viewed his best friend that he was hanging out with at the time. <laughs> Hate's a strong word. I disliked him a lot. So this is how how I drew him, how I saw him in my mind. But it's funny because at this time, I realized how much of a player my ex-boyfriend was, and you can see that I didn't really disrupt the look of him. I didn't change him, I didn't make him turn out to be like a villainous guy or make him look ugly, but as opposed to his best friend, I just, I couldn't stand him. I just showed a lot of emotions through Ivy, how I was feeling, and I think that was a way, that was just a way for me to cope with everything. Paper Man! See, this is where it dates it by just a little fan art of Paper Man when it first was released. So what was interesting was that I was so close um, to the guy who was actually Prince Kyland was based off of and I was absolutely in love with him and I still kind of have a little crush on him but it's just more like this is not it's Ivy saying I don't want to forget about you and he says then don't it's more reversed um, I was afraid that the guy that Prince Kyland was based off of would forget me. So that was what I was scared of the most when I left my old college was I didn't want, I think the worst part was just leaving him and never having the possibility of being with him. So I think that was what was really killing me the most about the whole situation. Ah, it's so cute, Jack Frost and a girl. <laughs> if there's something going hard within your life I would try, I would totally recommend it. Art is therapy, art can help you. And whether you're drawing like regular characters from Disney movies or you're writing stories, there's such a healthier way to cope with things like how I coped with my cousin Dylan's death as you can see in here, or how I coped with my ex-boyfriend. So. That's how I coped with all these things and these were all huge mile markers in my life and instead of like doing anything else that might have harmed me as a person, I doodled it out. Instead of like, I don't know, turning into a villainous person and going and robbing banks. <laughs> Art can help so much more if you're doodling it out or you're writing the story a different way. Like you just sit down and you write out the whole story and how it would turn out the way you wanted it to turn out. This is such a better way to cope with problems. So yes, but the biggest thing that happened for me was that I came up with my two strongest original characters from me just trying to cope with my feelings and my problems. 
I actually developed Ivy in Prince Kyland. Ivy, of course, is based off of me, and she's based off of a lot of my older original characters. This is just what the original character finally turned out to be, and that was me. So, Prince Kyland became a really strong character of mine because he'll always be that overall dream guy that I have inside my mind, that he's my Prince Charming, he's the hero of the day, he's always going to be the hero to Ivy. To grab a sketchbook and just try to find a way to doodle stuff out. And you know, just the other day I was talking to someone and I said to him, I just looked in my my backpack that I carry around with me everywhere and I looked at it and I was just like, I just realized I carry three sketchbooks with me. <laughs> so this is a way for you guys to like, if you need inspiration for art or you're having an art block, then doodle what's going on in your life. That's a way to do it and doodle for yourself. You don't have to doodle for anyone else. Just doodle for yourself. Of course, Jesus is always a great way to help out with it too. If I didn't have art and I didn't have Jesus in my life, then Lord knows I'd be, yeah, I would be some crazy mobster or something. <laughs> I thought it would be cool to talk to you guys about this because it's something I realized while I was moving houses by looking at all my old sketchbooks and all my old notebooks and just realizing that, wow, art, Art is a huge part of my life because I have you guys, I have the YouTube channel, and then I have my job where I am an art teacher. And art will always be a huge part of my life, but it also helped me through a lot of hard times in my life. I fully believe that art is therapy. But yes guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will talk to you all later. Bye! Do, 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 do. Arr.